Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you exactly a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to fix the issue on Ro Roblox has when it's not installing. Now in my previous video about how to fix Roblox not launching, almost everyone in the entire comments had the issue that Roblox wasn't installing properly. And with more research done, I thought I'd make a video on how to fix this issue. One more thing, if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so you can get more tutorials like this in the future. Other than that, let's get on with the video. Alright, so you first want to have the Roblox installer downloaded, and if you don't, then go to roblox.com, go to any random game, for me I have Murder Mystery 2 right here, and then you just want to click on the join button, you have to wait a bit until this thing happens, until the thing loads, you may get a message like this, just click out of it, as you can see, you see I purposely uninstalled Roblox so I can show you how to fix it, and once you get this message, click on download and install Roblox. It will download the installer, and once it's done, you want to find the location, for example, maybe in your downloads file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to my desktop. Alright, as you can see, I have it right here. And the first step is to actually try and installing it as an administrator. So to do that, what you want to do is right-click it, and click on Run as Administrator. You will get a pop-up that says, do you want this app to allow changes on your computer? Just click on Yes. Alright, as you can see, it's installing Roblox right here, and when it's done, it should be working to check. Go back to any game and just launch it and see if it actually works. If it doesn't work, then continue watching. The next scenario is that your computer probably is forcefully stopping you from downloading using the firewall or the Windows Defender. And you have to disable it temporarily in order to download Roblox. Now to disable it temporarily, what you want to do is go to the start menu. What you want to do is search up for virus and threat protection. It should already be in the system settings, just click on it. Now, if you have like a third-party antivirus, then you probably won't see this, but if you don't, you'll see exactly what you're seeing on the screen. What you want to do is here, make sure you're on virus and threat protection, and go click on manage settings. Once that's been clicked, turn off only real-time protection. Click on yes. And remember, this is only temporary. So once you've done that, go back to your uh, Roblox installer and try running it as an administrator again. Click on yes and check if it actually installs. Once it's finished installing, again check it by going to roblox.com and going to any game. If it works, then great, go back to the virus and threat protection and turn this back on. And if it doesn't work, and you still haven't installed it yet, then still go back to the virus and threat protection to turn this on. And again, if it doesn't work, then continue watching. All right, this next trick requires you to check if the Roblox servers are actually working. So in order to do that, what you want to do is search up for Roblox server status, click on enter. It should be the top link right here, the official status.roblox.com website. Just click on that. And if it says all systems operational at the very top in green, then that means your local server is running well and it's not the server issue. If it doesn't say this and there's an issue, then the only way to fix this is to actually wait for Roblox to start working. But if it says all systems operational, and you're still having trouble installing Roblox, then continue watching. All right, this next trick requires you to go to the start menu and search for run. Click on enter. And then you'll get this small window right here. What you want to do is in the uh, typing section, you want to write exactly what I have on the screen. Percentage sign, app data, percentage sign. By doing this, we're going to locate the Roblox files. So click on OK. The Windows Explorer will open up. And then up here, you can see we're on the roamings folder. You want to go and go to the app data and you want to click here. Once you're here, you want to double click on local. And then from here, you want to find Roblox. It will be a file, as you can see, I have it right here. Double click on that. Once you're here, click on versions. And you have different versions saved to your computer. And what you want to do is filter by date and see which one's the latest. For me, the latest was today because I was installing it. So what you want to do is double click on that. And if the installer is only there, then run the installer as administrator again to check if it actually works. And if it doesn't work, then go back here and go check for the next, like latest version. As you can see, the next one for me is 14th of October. What you want to do is double click on that. And then you'll have the Roblox Play installer here. Try running that and see if it's working. This way we are downloading versions of the Roblox where it might not be bugged because the installer you're probably installing right now on roblox.com is like not working. So yeah. And once you install it from here, 
go back here and sh and there should be like a Roblox player launcher or something. You want to double click on that and then it should be working. Anyways, if you found this video useful, please leave a like to show that it works. Subscribe if you're new and comment down below any new tips you want. Comment down below any tutorials you want me to do in the future or if you have troubles. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.